this one is a limited edition. See, the thing is, is this, this case is $100. I should like everything about it if I'm gonna keep a $100 case. Eighteen foot drop protection, built-in MagSafe. It's built with Kevlar. If you're gonna get a case, spend the sixty-five dollars that this one costs on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Spigen's clear case it fits super nice. It does not have MagSafe on it, so this isn't the hybrid version. Uh, this is just a regular TPU case that I put MagSafe on, and this is an ESR ring. I'll put a link for this down in the description as well. This case has built-in little air pockets all the way around the sides and you can see them see there's little air pockets just like that around all the corners there it's just a flimsy tpu case and it's more of a slim fit but yet it still has some drop protection this thing adds quite a bit of something else to hold on to for your phone it's more of a squared off case it's got a hard plastic back whereas this one doesn't just regular you know soft tpu it's still pretty flexible why didn't they put any air pockets in here i would think that maybe this might be a little bit more drop protective this is not as good this one obviously is metal but so there you go and this one right here it'll hold your phone it's not a problem it won't drop it or anything like that but i just wish that it was a little bit better uag's sticking to their design what i do like about it a little texture on the inside all the way around and so it's not going to be holding on to the borders of the phone uag has a one-year warranty so in anything over a year they're not going to most likely cover your case if it turns a different color the whole back portion of the plastic here is dropped down inside the tpu frame so that means that if you lay it on its back it's going to be laying flat and it keeps the back from getting scratched it doesn't fit terribly bad except for the fact that the sides seem to be a little loose so when you grip the phone there's you can feel that there's a gap that is actually being closed the sides are a little bit flimsy the bottom definitely is going to be flimsy and the top is flimsy the buttons are okay they're not like the most clickable but they're okay so because this case is just okay i mean it doesn't feel like the best thing to hold on to i have to say that this is not something that i could really recommend except for the fact that it looks pretty so it will hold your phone no problem it's just not going to hold it quite as well as this case right here with my own ring installed this thing will charge wirelessly through the case you can see that the lights came on and it's charging wirelessly that right there will cover up the camera so i installed my own and it won't cover up the camera i just put it down a little bit further and it'll still charge my phone maybe it's just the price tag 49 dollars for a case that is just basically okay if you want to see a review of this one i will put a little card uh, right here this somebody said in one of my comments below this started to come off here on the sides uh, it's a flimsy case it's not the most durable and their quality control could have been a little bit better right here on the bottom there's a little bit of like melted plastic right there the case is flimsy and on the sides it's pretty stiff i would say that the protection is just going to be in the fact that they made the corners a little bit thicker than a, than just like a regular uh, case like this one right here it does not have thick corners I do like the fact that this right here is has an indent in the side here. It kind of matches the indent here where the buttons are kind of, you know, protruding out, but there's an indent there. So the buttons are inside that indent right there like that. And then the sides here are nice uh, soft plastic TPU and the openings are totally fine. You got plenty of access for the S Pen and it will protect it for the most part. So, but the back part right there is almost flat. So that way it does kind of expose that part of the S Pen there. I don't know if I like that, but I do like the way this thing feels in the hand. And especially when you have this on here, something like this. And it's mounted the same way as the other one was and it's, it will still cover that camera. But what I have noticed is that the, the camera doesn't really get affected much by that and I'm not sure why those lights came on and charging wirelessly through the case 
that's a good case I mean you can't really go wrong with that especially because it fits so nice around those cameras and it will uh, let you have uh, the lens protectors so if I was to recommend any lens protectors for you it would be the ESR lenses uh, those are the better ones better than ESR the reason why is because ESR is a little bit blurry and I do have a screen protector on here right now white stone dome glass it fits perfectly with this case lay on table is no problem and when you lay your phone down you're not going to get any rocking whatsoever. This is the one that I would pick if I was to pick any of them. So that was the Metropolis LT Pro by UAG, and that's about $65. And the Plyo Pro is about $49, so $50 for that one. This one, 25 foot drop protected. This is the Monarch Pro Premium Protection. This one is a limited edition. And the reason why it's limited edition is because it comes with color accents right here on the sides in this like army green metallic looking color. I really was hoping that I would like this case, but there's a major problem with this case for me. So my iPhone 13 Pro has a better version of silicone or TPU or whatever they used here than this does. Because when you're holding this in your hand, it feels a little bit too um, maybe boxy and honeycomb feeling because of the indents. I would do the reverse. Leave the honeycombs elevated and then the in-between space of the honeycomb dropped down. So that way it would it would still give you grip, but it would have a more of a smooth feeling rather than this rough feeling. Color on this though is super nice. It's got a metallic color kind of look, and I don't know if I can get the light to, to shine on it correctly, but this thing has really good drop protection, 25 feet drop protection. It's got little feet on the back, so that way it'll keep it off the table, so that way it'll keep this nice looking Kevlar area and painted surface nice and looking new so that's the thing too is with these materials for uag their materials last a long time and maybe that's why they did this um, this is more of a solid case it's got a solid back with stretchy sides tpu sides i don't expect that those are going to uh, wear out too much over time they seem really strong no air pockets on the inside there so corners no air pockets i do like that honeycomb feeling on the back though You've got lifted top and bottom, and the side is basically flush with that screen protector. Uh, the buttons are kind of squishy, clicky. It's not bad to hold, and it's actually, if it's 25 foot drop protective, it's actually one of the thinner cases that you possibly could get. The corners are protruding out, but the sides are nice and almost like flush up against the phone. Altogether, I do like the case. It's just maybe not for me but see the thing is this this case is a hundred dollars i should like everything about it if i'm gonna keep a hundred dollar case it's uag though i know it's going to be a good case and there's plenty of protection around that s pen there it is yep perfect and the case fits perfectly with white stone dome glass i feel like yeah it's a little bit better as far as the magnetic hold let's see if it'll charge through this case here I don't know if it has to be up that high. For me, it's not really a big deal because it doesn't obstruct the view of that bottom lens right there, and I think they knew that it wouldn't. If you want something that holds a little bit stronger, I think you should go with making your own, possibly if you can. On this kind of case, you probably couldn't because of all the different elevation changes. Like UAG's older cases, you can't put something on this, on like this right here. But if you can, I think that that's what you should do. I'll put a link to all of these cases down below, and this is the Monarch Pro, and it's for $100, nine ninety nine, something like that. Um, I'll leave Amazon links that are affiliated down in the description. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Mike, and this is Something Mobile. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.